In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use multiple animation paths and multiple camera targets effectively in a walkthrough type animation. Let's see how this anim animation was created. First, I used SU Grid to create a grid of lines that would help construct complex paths. To see that, I'm going to turn off the layers to show the grid. The grid tool comes with SU Animate and can be accessed either from the draw menu or by right-clicking on a face. Now let's take a look at the animation paths. For two of the animation paths, I've used SG Animate's Polyline Path tool. There are three animation paths in this animation. Let's look at each Take a look at the first one. There's no delay. It's the first animation. It's a camera animation. And the camera is going to stay focused on a component called plant. Now the second animation is a little more complex. It's an arc. And it is actually an object being animated. However, it will be hidden. And it starts at 150. So it will not start until the first animation is done. It's 50 frames long. There's a component called Thing, which will be hidden. And the target, where the camera is focused on, will be that group as it moves along the arc. And we'll take a look at that little group that I created. It's called Thing, and it will be hidden. It's on the animation path, so it will be hidden when we actually create the animation. The third path is a camera animation path. And let's take a look at its properties. It has a 200 delay, so it won't start until after 200 frames are completed. 150 frames itself. It's a camera animation, and the target is a component called light. And that component is right here. So the camera will be focused on that light during its animation on this path. OK, let's take a look at, at the overall scheme. There's three animation paths. The first one is a camera animation with a target called plant. So the camera will be focused on the plant. The second animation is an arc where the group thing moves along the arc and the camera will stay focused on it. Third animation is also a camera animation and the target is light so the camera will stay focused on the light. So combine these three and we have a fairly complex animation. Let's do a preview of it first. Uh, we need to turn off some layers. Um, let's turn off the grid layer and the animation path layer and go to the issue animate and click preview 350 frames and you can see the camera is moving along this path and it's focused on the plant that's the first path second path the camera stops but it pivots around looking at the group moving along the arc and the third path the camera moves along the path focused on a component called light Check out the photorealistic version of this by going to suplugins.com and clicking on the video page.